All right, so today we are talking healthy sleeping and wake up habits. So something that I've noticed, and there's a lot of research that has been done, um, that technology keeps you awake, there's something to do with the blue light, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, I do not, and this has helped me immensely. Now, I was never like this in the past for many, many years, and I suffered for it, mentally and physically. So over the last probably two years, I've kind of narrowed it down to a science that works for me. It may be different for yourself, but just learn to adapt and try out different things. So I do not have any technology in my bedroom. It means no TV, no clock, no phones, nothing. Um, I do not te touch technology, which includes TVs, phones, Playstations, um, for up to an hour before I go to bed. Uh, I do not, I do set my phone on do not disturb after 8.30 p.m., um, which means that no matter what anything comes through, I can't hear it anyways. I do store, this is a little weird, I do store both my work phone and my personal phone actually in the microwave um, when I first get, like when I, at any time I'm at home, if I'm not using it, which is actually pretty rare, um, they're both in the microwave so I don't touch them or use them. So this immensely helps me go to bed and wind down for the night. Uh, sometimes I'll listen to music a little bit prior to, kind of like what I'm doing now, um, but I'm not going to bed for a little while yet. <sighs> Good habits. Now, a healthy person will make healthy choices for themselves, such as those. Those are sacrifices. They are. They're not pleasant sometimes. They're very hard to like get used to. Um, I also, when I wake up, I do not touch or even look at my phones for an hour after I've been awake. So, no phones, no nothing, no TV usually either. Um, I do work out every day, almost actually. There's very rarely that I don't do some sort of exercise. Um, and it's not because I'm obsessed with my body, it's because I love my body. And I feel great when I do it. Um, it's an achievement. I would do the ice baths every day, but I do have to pay for my water to get hauled in, so that could be quite expensive for her to do it every day. Um, so I do it up to three times a week, and considering I've had surgery on my knee, um, and I can get really tender from all the working out, it is very mostly helpful. Now if you can't do an ice bath, which I couldn't in the beginning, uh, I would suggest cold showers. I only shower in cold water now. Like to have a hot one would be weird. Um, so good habits create healthy life. Healthy, healthy lifestyles create a healthy life. Uh, that's not a good one. Ooh, so I do make my bed every morning, um, especially before I leave the house. If I'm super sweaty, I won't like throw the, make it right away because I do want it to air, like air a bit. Um, but every morning before I leave my house, I do make my bed. Because if you can't do the little things right, it makes you think you can do the big things right. So, uh, what else are another really good tips? Prioritize your health over social events uh, and money, as I find. So my mental health is worth more than anything else in this world. And my mental health is completely correlated with my physical health. So, uh, meditation is something I do regularly. Um, may, it's not like sit there and mm, or whatever. Um, I actually just sit and reflect uh, quite often. So like dead silence in my house. And like I'll often be doing my one of my rugs. This is my second one. Um, yeah, like just good healthy habits. Uh, don't put food into your body that you know will make you ill. Or even like, let's be honest, any fast food. Uh, what else? Don't drink like, like I don't consume alcohol or do drugs or even take prescriptions or even take Tylenol. Um, now that might be a little extreme for a lot of people. It's taken me a long time to get here, step by step though. Everything's a process. Like you can't climb a mountain by one giant leap. You gotta climb it rock by rock. Everything is step, step, step. But if you keep looking at the top of that mountain, it's overwhelming. Like I will never get there. I'm not even gonna bother. No, you just look down, you climb rock by rock by rock by rock. You'll get there. You'll get there. Just don't give up. Uh, good other healthy habits. 
being in nature, like exercise is huge, like being, but being outside doing it is a huge thing too. Like I actually do my, like my cardio on a bike outside. Um, it sucks when it rains. It's not pleasant. Actually, it's, it's not that it's not pleasant. It just makes it more challenging. It's not unpleasant. It's just more challenging. Um, state of mind is another good healthy practice. So a lot of people that I've known um, suffer with a lot of negative thinking uh, or even just negative talk. So like I don't like to talk poor about people because it's just like gossiping is toxic um, and talking bad about yourself is even worse. If you don't believe in yourself, who's going to believe in you, right? So I say affirmations every morning. I pray every night. I do grateful lists, journaling is helpful, art of some sort of expression. I paint, not as often as I would like to, but I definitely paint. Uh, learn a new skill, and it doesn't have to be a skill, just challenge yourself once a week. I probably do it like once a day, but like that's excessive. Uh, read more, uh, again, like with the technology part, cut your uh, consumption down. Um, like it's okay to get like information. I get that. Like I use YouTube to look up stuff. Like I get it. But like social media is a whole other ball game. The um, I say this. The intent behind it is not beneficial. Um, some can use it to benefit themselves and others. A lot of people don't have that skill or that self control. Um, so a lot of these things I have suggested. Or some things that I've just tried out and learned on my own. Um, there's some things that I've learned through different uh, like sources, like the Wim Hof method for the ice bath. There's a whole biology behind it. A lot of the like mental health stuff, so like journaling and stuff like that. A lot of the stuff you can actually find if you want to work through like trauma or just mental health issues or whatever you're struggling with. There is a free online website called cci.ag or au sorry it's an australian website it has free uh, mental health workbooks i've done tons of them i like to write them out though because i don't like to be online so i printed them all off and then i did a lot of them um they give you a lot of different skills for coping because a lot of people don't know how to cope in today's society which is why we, we run to technology it's distraction <sighs> I'll put the information down here. So Wim Hof, uh, Clinical Center for Interventions. Is that Australian website I was just talking about? Where else do I? Oh, Eddie Pimiro. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Is a really good motivational speaker. And a lot of the things that like he's gone through don't really correlate with my life. But like the inner talks do because we're our own worst enemy. Um, and he even struggles with like online. We are our own worst enemy. You can't tell me that if you're sitting there watching a movie, which oh, I don't watch TV either. If you're sitting there watching a movie and your phone's next to you, you're going to check your phone. You're going to check your phone. You're going to check your phone. I don't care what you say. Um, so don't keep your phone around you. You can either watch your TV. If, if, if you have a project you want to do, make it easier for you to succeed and harder to fail. That's why I put my phones my microwave they're out of sight out of mind they're too difficult you not even too difficult it's harder for me to fail and go get them and distract myself than it is to do the shelves that i'm building or this rug or to finish another book or clean this or can that or make this recipe or whatever right like i don't know that's a lot of information but this is just like a small tiny fraction of what i do daily probably uh Oh, a good tidbit. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. So, I don't know. Treat yourself well. A lot of people, I think, are stuck in shame or guilt. Because um, that is a huge thing, I think, with today's society. is like, oh, they're doing better. Oh, they're doing this. And I don't fucking care what anyone else is doing. Um, I care what I'm doing. I care about other people. And I hope they're doing well. But I love myself enough that I will make sure I succeed. I don't care if I look stupid trying something new or doing shit like this, like posting videos like this. Um, I'm trying. That's 
That's awesome. I'm amazing. You're amazing. Now give yourself the tools, the motivation, and the best opportunity to succeed at the things you want to do. Um, you are your worst enemy, but also your biggest hero. So remember that no one's going to come save you. You can do this. Whatever it is you want to do or have dreams of doing, um, you're capable. So, uh, yeah, just get to know yourself, your pros, your cons, start integrating healthy habits. It's not easy, but nothing good comes easy. They say, like, the greatest people in the world, like athletes and Olympia, like, people go to the Olympics or Hollywood stars or creators of this and that or whatever, they do things that normal people wouldn't, right? They make sacrifices. They do the hard things, whereas most people sit on their couch and watch them do it, right? So challenge yourself. Be that 1% or be odd. Do you. But um, leave comments uh, about little health tips that you would recommend to others or to me. Um, what else? Or any little practices that you've seen or would like me to try or know if I already do them. And I'll also put that information in the comment, like in my little blurb thing. So thanks for actually watching this stuff. It's fun sometimes. And I only... It rarely, so I gotta get better at it. Thank you.